when you offer discounts on your WooCommerce store, the sale badge gets automatically added to the products. While this may attract your potential customer's attention to the product, there may be instances when you want to offer the discounted product straight away without attracting the user's attention. Some store owners would also want to customize the sale badge based on their requirements. They can customize the badge to make it more attractive, change text, color, and so on. In this video tutorial, we will see how to easily remove the sale badge on your WooCommerce store. We will also look into ways to customize the sale badge. You can remove the WooCommerce sale badge in two simple methods. Using code snippet or using CSS code. These methods may be overthrown by some themes. Hence, you can test and use the desired method yourself. Let us first discuss how to remove the WooCommerce sale badge using a code snippet. Here's the default setup of how the sale badge will be shown on the shop page. To hide these sale badges, add this code snippet to the functions.php file of your activated website theme. You can copy the code snippet from the video transcript. Follow the link in the video description. You can watch our video on how to edit WordPress source code files, to understand how to add code snippets and update the WordPress files in a better way. After you have saved the file, move to the front end of the store to see the apply changes. Here's how your shop page looks without the sale badges. You can notice the sale price is still applied. Easy, isn't it? The second method involves CSS code. To do this, you can add the CSS snippet using the WordPress theme customizer. Go to Appearance and click Customizer. In the left sidebar menu, Scroll down to the last and click additional CSS as shown. You can also notice the sale badges visible for the products. After you add the CSS snippet, WordPress will preview the updated changes. The sale badge will now be hidden from the shop and product pages. You can click on the publish button to save the changes. In this way, you can remove the sale badge on your WooCommerce store. But instead of removing the sale badge completely, you can choose to customize it. You can change the text, color, position, add image, schedule, or automate it, and do much more. We will look into some of the customizations that you can do with code snippets as well as plugins. First, let us change the sale badge text from the default text sale to discount. To do this, add this code snippet in the functions.php file of your activated website theme. You can copy the code snippet from the video transcript, the link for which is given in the video description. In the code snippet, you can change the text discount to any text of your choice. Here's how the updated sale badge text looks like. Next, instead of a simple text, you can use a custom image for the sale badge. If you want to add a simple image without much customization, you can make use of this code snippet. Like other code snippets, you can include this code snippet in the functions.php file of your activated website theme. You can notice that the code snippet has an image tag that allows you to customize the width and height of the image, and allows you to include the source URL of the image from your media library. After you've saved the settings, 
move to the front end of the store to see the apply changes. You can notice that the default sale text is now replaced with our custom image. Next up, if you are looking for more customization, you can make use of plugins. The code snippets may be overthrown by some themes, hence for big customization, it is better to use plugins. There are several plugins in the market, that do more than just changing text and color of the WooCommerce sale batch. The plugins give you more control and allow you to customize different aspects of the sale batch. You can watch our video on the top WooCommerce badge management plugins, to choose the right plugin to customize your sale batch. You can also read our article on the same. You can find links to the video and the article in the video description. Hence, in this way, you can easily remove or customize the sale badge on your WooCommerce store. You can follow the link in the video description to read the video transcript, which also contains all the code snippets discussed in this video. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, resources, and videos related to WordPress, WooCommerce, Shopify, and BigCommerce. Go follow us on our social media channels and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos related to WordPress and WooCommerce.